All right, Chicken Betty, we're back with Mishka, and you just left. So anyway, we're going to do her video. What we're going to do is use something called the sound box, and I'll email you guys the link for that thing that understands understanding the sound box. We're only going to be using the pager in the beginning, so when you hear that buzzing sound, that's when she's feeling the pager. Obviously, you know your collar isn't going to make a sound. We just use that for the video so that you will understand when I'm doing the pager. So we initially are going to get the dog healing off leash and everything, but initially we have to teach the subtask of I don't want the leash made tight so that she understands when you put the leash on there, you know, above heel and all that, is that you don't want it made tight because she's too strong and she could hurt somebody by pulling them down. So we're not going to start out saying heel in the beginning or even trying to get her to heal. The first week we're going to just do this walking back and forth, helping her understand, one, that the pager is us communicating with her, and two, that we don't want the leash made tight, because she almost just dragged me over to Victoria here a minute ago. Anyway, so we're just going to... And this is for everybody at home, too, I even add the word. You know, I'm not going to walk a bunch of squiggly lines. I'm going to try to just go back and forth. you on your video, you let the leash get underneath the dog. You want to be able to subtly control the leash. We will have her walking on the left, just in the, at this initial stage, we're not really worried about it. No, she's catching on quick. We'll be right back with the off-leash recall. 